Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on in to a brand new LEGO Minecraft 2024 news video. Today we've got a couple of new sets to look at here uh, thanks to a retail site that accidentally leaked a bunch of stuff today. So let's go through and hop around to the different sets and chapters. I have some things to correct from the other video. So let's go ahead and let's get started. First up here, we've got set number 21251. This is Steve's Desert Expedition. This is going to be retailing for 1099 USD. I always love these tiny little sets in each of the January waves. If you didn't know, every year they switch between Alex and Steve being in them. And this year it's Steve's turn. And what's really interesting about Steve's inclusion here is the fact that he has a brand new face. That's something we saw and we'll see with Alex in a second. But not just a new head printing there, which is like this shocked, scared expression. I don't know why there's blue on his face. Let me know if, if you realize what that is. I'm blanking, but uh, they've changed the skin color. They have finally, after all of these years, updated it to the darker skin color, and that looks amazing. The camel's quite interesting. It's definitely a lot shorter than I think I necessarily wanted, but I love the new headpiece that they created there. I think that's really cool. But yeah, the legs just should have been taller, but it uses a similar design for the head like uh, the llamas, so that's cool. Also included is a phantom there. So that's the three mobs in the set, but then the rest of the set, I, I like it. It's cozy, it's, it's a little campsite. I like the sort of canopy build that they've got there. The campfire is an interesting new build for that. Uh, you've got some water, crafting table, and then a cactus. And that's definitely, like, that's a step down from all the cacti we've had before. Uh, but moving on now, 21252, this is a set that we went extensively in detail with the Armory last video. If you want to check that out, I won't talk about it too much, but we've got two brand new uh, skins, I guess, because Alex has a brand new face retailing for 1999 USD there. And uh, then we've got set number 2124. Five, three. The Animal Sanctuary, it has a ton of different animals and, and new variants and different things. It's really awesome. This is also retailing for $19.99 USD. But one thing that I didn't realize that all of you guys did in the comments, so shout out to everyone that did. I've been talking about this for a while, but we need the new default skins, and this one has it. This is Effie. She's included here in the set, so that is so cool that they are dipping into that. I cannot wait to get the rest of those new default skins and sets. Uh, even if it's just once, you know, obviously I get that they need to reuse uh, Steve and Alex all the time. But uh, yeah, that's very, very interesting. Uh, then we've got set number 21254. This is the Turtle Beach House. And this will be retailing for $26.99, which I think is pretty good. Again, we talked a lot about this in the last video. It's really cute. I, I love it a lot. One of the mistakes that I made was I said that this was a, a birch raft. And uh, the hundreds of comments, thank you to everyone, uh, it is a bamboo raft. Now, I don't like the color for that, but it's still awesome to be getting something new from that. I, I am dying to see the inside of the house, but uh, this is the second video now that we're talking about this. So I think, unfortunately, that's going to have to wait for the review. And then we have set number 21255. This is the Nether Portal Ambush set retailing for $34.99 USD. And yeah, I, I love this one a lot. The gas is back. We talked about this before as well as we've got there. The Hoglin has been updated. I really love that. And uh, we've got a, a cool new skin there too. And uh, a bunch of these sets can combine. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out that other video. But here we go. We've got the rest of the new stuff here. 21256. This is the Frog House. I, I, I'm not sure if that's the exact name because it's covered up. This is retailing for $49.99 USD. I just don't know about the price. We'll have to wait and see. I, part of me, I don't know. There's some things that I really love about this. One of the main things is all of the mobs that you're getting inside of the set. It, it's really crazy. You have all three versions of the frog, all in these different colors. Uh, you could see we've got a slime included, as well as up front and center there, we have there a new skin, which to me looks like they've got like a little frog hat on, like it looks like a little blue variant. And I think that's really cute that that's the skin included in this frog house. They're a big fan of frogs, I guess. And then you've got a drowned, which is so frustrating to me because 
we, we could be getting something else more interesting again there's the drown in another set already but there is also a zombie included i think it's off being covered up but you can see from the top of the box that it's included the set itself you have a little farm off to the corner that's pretty cute but then it's the actual the, the house itself i think is really interesting we have there the frog eggs down in the front but then the entrance up into the frog is its tongue that is so clever and great and then the inside it's very open and i think that's really cool to me though it's the top part there i wish that there was a little bit more blockiness to that it's too flat i wish that it was a full block i guess you could say those are planks up there but i really wish that that just was a little bit thicker i think that would have made this feel a little bit more complete i know that i've seen some comments saying that it looks weak and like the back part, I think you just lift up the plate. So it, it's not very interesting. I like how they did the eyes, though. And even the side of the body, I think is cool. How they have the feet as well, I think is really well done. And on the inside, you've got a couple of different things. I can't make out what's to the right. But we've got a crafting table, a furnace, a cake there, some honey, and then a bed. And I really love the frog lights included here as well. That's really great. From Minecraft Legends, we have set number 21257. This is the Devourer Showdown set. And this is going to be retailing for $39.99 USD. That's, like, honestly pretty good. I think that the size there of the Devourer is huge. I, I love so much about this. First of all, the colors all look really, really great. You get a ton of new prints there. You can see on the nose, the eyes. But I love the different functionality of this. First of all, all the arms and stuff can move. I love the sort of skirt that also is able to move as you move the legs. That's a really cool detail. And then you can also shoot out slime from the mouth and then also launch slime cubes from up above. That's really, really awesome. The other different uh, things included inside of this set you can see off to the left there, we have a brand new skin. And there's not an official name for this. Like, I did a bit of a deep dive trying to find out the names of these characters. They just called it the Hero Ranger 1 in one of the toys. So unless there's a different name at the top of the box that they've given her, uh, she looks cool, though. She's got a brand new headpiece. I don't know if you realize that. It's Unless that's a like a misprint or something on the box, you can see how the hair's coming down a little bit in the front. And I think even the neck is dual molded. So, yeah, really, really interesting that they decided to do that instead of just giving her a regularly printed face. That makes me honestly think that they're going to do more Minecraft Legend sets because why introduce this new headpiece for one character like this? Like, that's pretty crazy. Um, Anyways, she's got a loot, which I don't know about the coloring of that, but it's still really cool to be getting. That's awesome. She's got there this banner in her hand, which looks really cool. And then what she's riding is called a big beak. It's a really cool design. Again, a couple of new prints there. The whole legs and everything, they look great. Uh, we do have a friendly skeleton there, as well as a cobblestone golem. That's a really cute design. You can see there's some printing there, either on a 1x2 or a 2x2 two two tile for the eyes. And then you can see, just making out there in the corner there, we do actually have a blaze runt. So that's pretty cute. They're using the uh, piglin head there from other sets but they've recolored it here to match this and i think that's a cute little design i also just love the box design of this i think the colors and everything look great and, and i i haven't played the game myself but i'm absolutely open to more characters and different animals coming in from that because i have looked at all that and they look awesome so please do more of this i hope this does well we didn't get enough dungeon sets. But what do you think of this batch of sets? I think overall it's very exciting. I think that there's quite a lot of new things and maybe some improvements as well along the way that we've said here in this video. So I'm quite excited. I'm sad again. I said this in the last video. Now we've seen the sets. The sniffer is not in any of these and that has broken the tradition of having the Minecraft fan vote in the subsequent January wave. So that's pretty sad that that streak has ended, but I'm going to assume that we'll see it in the summertime. But what do you think of this? Be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on future LEGO Minecraft set news and reviews for all seven of these sets. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you will have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.